Right, well hello everyone and welcome to the first part of this Let's Play the Level Up campaign. Like I'm a returning player to WoW, not played in quite some time, and uh, I got the early access and really enjoyed the Level Up campaign so far as my first character, so I thought I'd bring it and show it to use on like a second character. As you see I've also went and got several characters up to like, uh, I think the only one I didn't do was Monk, I've got like almost one of every I think, uh, I think, only not got a warrior and a monk at max, well, at the old max level, ready to go into this expansion, because the pre, the, be, 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 the pre-patch had an amazing way to level and get some really good gear, so literally I just took all my outs, uh, most of them were like level 50 to like 60, and then just leveled them up in like a day, like easy each, like a couple of hours on each, and that's all it needed. Um, at most, so I leveled them all up to 70, so it looks like I've gone and done an absolute ton here, but I literally this was all in like the space of like a week, in the pre-patch event, which I quite enjoyed. But yeah, and I've got the one character to max level now, done the, the level up campaign, I thought I'd bring it to use, as I said. So, um, let's jump in, I think we'll do our uh, Warlock, because I've got my Paladin here, which I'm starting to gear up to be a healer. And gonna take them into raids and dungeons and all that as a healer. But, eh, uh, so let's start leveling up a second character. And one of the things I thought I'm gonna do as well, which, eh, uh, green screen looked a wee bit broken. broken. Let's move that over there. Um, right, I'll need to. Right, never mind me, I was a huge derp. The quest that I had there was the right quest, but it's because it's part, you can do it as part of the pre patch, just so you get that. Like, initial bit a little bit faster. So yeah, we start here. Time for dreaming is over. Will face the all right, much. we're all here. Good, let's find out what the Radiant Song is we trying to tell us. I suppose we'll do From this. the moment the dark titan Sargeras plunged his colossal blade into our world, crucial events were set in motion. Magni Bronzebeard heard the cries of Azeroth, giving up everything to answer her call. Since being wounded by the Mad Titan, Azeroth has been crying out in pain. As her dutiful speaker, he rallied the champions to her aid, and ultimately to confront the return of the old god, Nizar. It was during this conflict that Zalateth, a mysterious entity of the Void, made a deal with Nizar freeing her from the cursed blade that bound her essence within. Honor our bargain. Free me to find my own fate. After she vanished into the darkness, Nazoth was confronted by the mortal champions and destroyed, ending the old god's reign of terror. But they were not the only malevolent force with its eyes set on Azeroth. For soon, the sky was sundered, the Shadowlands split open, and our heroes were pulled into the realm of death itself. Go, champion! Go! It was there that Anduin Rin endured the worst. Captured, tortured, and through dark domination magics, forced to commit terrible acts against his will. I'm afraid that if I call on the light, it won't answer. Scarred and shaken by his experience, he vanished, his whereabouts unknown. After the threat of the Shadowlands had been quelled, the dragons of Azeroth returned to their ancestral homeland. It was here that the primal dragon, Iridicron, broke free of his prison and in pursuit of vengeance upon the titans who he felt had stolen our world, he secured an ancient powerful artifact the dark heart when the titans come to reclaim their prize i will be waiting as word of this new threat started to spread people began experiencing strange visions the radiant song is being heard all across azeroth the council doesn't know what to make of it it was then that Illyria Windrunner, a deadly huntress who had harnessed the powers of the Void as a weapon against the darkness, 
was summoned to investigate. We still don't know what this dark heart relic is capable of, but we do know it's in the hands of someone called the Harbinger. It was not long before Illyria discovered the Harbinger's true identity. Zalatath, the mysterious figure, was once again on the move. While neither Zalatath nor the Dark Heart could be found, her mentor, the enigmatic Locus Walker, issued Illyria a dire warning. The radiant visions you spoke of are the very same my people had before our world was consumed by the Void Lord Dementius. Could Zalatath be seeking that same fate for Azeroth? You must find a way to stop her. If you cannot, then Azeroth is already doomed. So that's nice, a nice little recap for anyone that's not, I thought I'd leave it on as well, because anyone that's not played WoW in a long time, that's like a lot of the story elements that have like led to this point, all the bits that are important from the last few expansions, to know narratively going forward, that's like a nice little recap for you. It's like everything that you should need to know before going into this expansion, kind of, so to speak. Right. Skip the Dalar introduction and travel to Dorangal. No, we don't want to do that. Together, we Your warband has previously completed this quest. I hear no one's seen him for a few years. He'll be there. He has to be. Yeah, I thought this was part of the pre-patch, which is why I didn't come here and do this. I was like, oh, it's not that. That's the pre-patch when I see it there. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Hi, Magni. Azeroth I know why you're here. It's the visions of Azeroth's voice. Heard all across the lands. You thought it would know she's telling us. Well, you're wrong. I haven't spoken to Azeroth. Oh, that was just his generic one. I haven't spoken to Azeroth for years. At first, I didn't feel the need. Then I realised I started to resent her for leaving me like this. And now, I'm not sure if I can. But I know all the stakes. This radiant song of hers foretells something dire. And we need to know what. First, we need to prepare the heart chamber. Can you start the consoles nearby? Help Magni with his ritual. Man, me, just a warlock, helping with a ritual, not sabotaging it at all. After all I gave, she left me like this, unable to feel the warmth of my kins and So, let's be clear, I'm doing this for all of you, not for her. Get away, minion. I'm speaking for no one. I'm ready, let's begin. Azeroth, speak to me. What are you trying to tell us? I can hear her voice. I can see it. The place she's calling us to. Where, Magni? Where must we go? It's cold. He's alive, but barely. I will not lose my friends again. Lois Walker told us that the people of his homeworld once Shivai received a vision not unlike the Radiant Song, and then Karesh fell to shadow. By the time the Ethereals realised their world was warning them of a coming danger, it was too late. We cannot allow the same thing to happen on Azeroth. I will never forget. This has never happened before. Magni is the speaker of Azeroth. Why would communion with her cause him to collapse? We will brave this darkness together. Magni appears stable for now, but he's still not responsive. We need to get him treatment quickly. I'll open a portal to Dalaran. Follow us Be when you can. You trust. Hopefully we can revive him. Meet us in Dalaran when you're able. Where's... Ah, there it is. I was gonna say, you know, it's like... It says that I can take a portal too, but you're like, you disappeared and there was no portal! 
Reminds me of someone later on in this uh, expansion. In a side quest that does something similar. It seems the strain was too much. Oh, da. What have you done to yourself this time? We will defend Azeroth together. Yeah, there was a there's a side quest where you're helping like I won't talk about it much there, but there's like a song's like, oh meet me back here, I'm gonna take a portal, then just completely abandoned you and I was like I've got to travel all the way back and you just could have taken me away and it was annoying. Troubled times lie ahead, but don't they always? At least we can face them together. Painful lessons. I'm unsure why the Speaker of Azeroth would end up in such a state after attempting to, well, speak to Azeroth. As we all we can do is wait for Magni to recover. Let's talk to his daughter. The mountain lends us its strength. We need to let Bran and my son Dragon know what's happened. They're at Dalaran Visitor Center. Could you go get them for me? Father needs his family right now. All right, oh, I'm on my way. With his nose in a book. It's why he insisted we come to Dalaran. I'm trying to remember what all my skills are. I had a. Uh... We'll do that. Oh. Have I cleaned out my bags? Eh, good enough. I'm trying to remember what all my skills are because I've not played this since... I've only played this for like two hours about a week ago. This was one of the first characters I leveled up to 70. Andy was already a 60, I think, because he was one I played a few years ago and I went to completely the wrong place. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think this is it here. Yeah, Have there you we seen are. these new tomes, Uncle Bran? They must be from Drenton's library. You'll find me... Hey there, champion! Dragon and I were just preparing for the perusing the local books and whatnot. Lads wouldn't have been more excited for his first visit to Dalaran. What brings you here? Uh, don't do anything. I hope Granda's all right. I never got to spend much time with her. Don't worry. Magni's made of stern stuff. Uh, pardon the pun. Yep, he's literally diamond. I don't think I've got like a fast run type spell, do I? Nope. Yeah, and this is where the pre-patch ended. So I thought this was part of the pre-patch and then the next quest, yeah, because I did this just as on my pally and it was the only one I did it on. I didn't realise that this wasn't was like literally the first couple of quests from it as well. Have you heard anything I need to know? May your it's good for us to be all in the room together, even if the reason is dire. My father hasn't really been a part of Dragon's life, but I mean to change that. You have my word. Thank you, Growlaz. You may take your leave. Wah, wah. Yeah, this. Here, boom. Father, are you alright? Boom. This is where I, the quest I was looking for earlier. I saw a vision of destruction. I thought this was the first quest in the expansion. I thought every of this was part of the pre-patch. Well, that was quite the nap. I wasn't expecting Nazaroth to be so loud. To normal folks, she's gently calling out, but with our connection, it felt like she was screaming directly into my crystal noggin. I saw it, though. Kaz Algar, an island of Ervin, bathed in fire and smoke. That's where, Avros, uh, that's where Azeroth's trying to lead us. That's where we need to protect. When the world has Algar... The Titan installation mentioned in Alderman's records. And it may now be in danger. We must convene the Council. There remains much to be done. Always have. Once more, Dalaran is called to the aid of our world. Magni? Azeroth showed me a vision of a city in flames. In the ancient lands of Kaz Algar. Her voice was desperate. We must act quickly. Archmage Drendon has proposed, and the Council agrees, that we bring the full force of Dalaran to this Kaz Algar. Make ready our people and prepare the city for teleportation. Whatever lies ahead. 
We will face it together. Let's get to work. It is the council's decided to travel to Kaz Algar. Dalaran will be teleported as soon as we're able. Will you lend us your aid in our preparations? Always happy to help. Be mindful. Our citizens must be prepared for Dalaran's departure. Can you ask around the city and see if anyone requires aid? I'd also like you to speak with Bran and Archmaster Strendon. They both had concerns that'd like to be addressed before we depart for Kaz Algar. Remain vigilant. Boom. Bran. If we're going to be exploring the new lands in Khazalgar, we'll need to be needing help from the Explorers League. We, but we won't be alone in this adventure. The League is teaming up with the Reculary again, just as on the Dragon Isles. They're calling themselves the Algari Expedition this time around. Just a wee bit worried if they're still getting along with... Still getting along. Exploring can tear folks apart, it just easily binds them together. Can you go check on that lot? Okay. Keep your Boom. eyes on the horizon. And Archmage Ostrendon. Good to see you, Jim. Magni's vision foretells that Kazogar may be enduring some turbulent times, and so it's best to ensure Dalran is ready for the worst. Here, take this wand and tune to the Dalran's defensive magic. Just wave it around the strategic parts of the city to just strengthen our magical defenses. If Kazogar is under attack, we must prepare for the worst. Mm. I'm going to reference this point in time later on. I'm not going to talk about it now. I'm going to reference this point later. Just remember that. Just remember that character there that gave us this quest. Right, use the wand. Strengthen the barriers. Well, adjust the barriers, it says here. Adjust the defences. Adjust the defences. Adjust, adjust, adjust. Right. Feel free to oh, out. we need to help this person strengthen. Here we go. He wanted to just tighten up his bookshelves. We helped him tighten up his bookshelves, ready to teleport the city. Right, let's adjust this barrier. Adjust the defensive barriers. We need to stop people invading Dalaran. Right, let's go. We. Right, eat food! There we go, we ate some of that food because they don't want it to get wasted. Right, and adjust this barrier. We'll get into the main sort of gameplay soon. At the moment, it's just all story. Right, what am I looking for? I went too far, I think. I think it's, yeah, it's this little room here. Help catch the butterflies! Get them into their cages! Alright. It's up here, I think. Is it up here? Is it up here? No, 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 no. Where is it where to go? Is it here? Ah! It's to talk to the Explorers League people here. Brad wanted me to check on you. Right, and then... Oh, it looks like we do need to come up here anyway. Bambidi 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 boop. And the last barrier to adjust. And back down we go, we did all three. Yes, we did all three. All three busy works. Preparing to teleport the city. Right, Drendon, the guy that suggested we teleport Dalaran. Uh, and Goodbye. suggested we go adjust the barriers there. We did our work for you. Inquiring minds just They're getting along, it'll be goat some. Well, I'll be the goat some co ah, no offense to Dragon. Well, that certainly makes the job easier. Thanks for checking on him, all the same. The truth is out there. Archmage's ah, Cadgar. Good to see you. 
Thank you for your help. It is important that the citizens of Dalaran are ready for whatever may come. Remain vigilant. To Kazalgar. Be mindful of your duty. From what Magni has seen, Kazalgar may not be the safest destini destination. We'll be relying on your aid should a fight break out. Let me know when you are ready to depart. Always happy. Are we ready? Are we ready? I think we are. Let's go! Now we get into the expansion proper. The busy work's done. It's expansion time. It's even more amazing than I'd imagined. But my visions were of fire and war. <laughs> Wrong. I need to find Khadgar. It's that guy. The guy I've been said to keep an eye on. <laughs> Drendon's been dead for years. All this time. And you never once sensed my presence. Oh, it's not time for that yet. But if you're so eager for a fight, perhaps this can keep you occupied. Until we meet again, Valeria. Yes, so... How could I be so blind? Drendon wasn't actually Drendon. Drendon was already dead. It was Zalataf that recommended we teleport the city here, and it was Zalataf that recommended, well, got us to strengthen the barriers to stop exactly this happening. So My we were actually weakening the barriers. We were just adjusting them. She was Archmage Drendon all along. Zalataf has been watching, plotting right in front of me. How could I be so blind? And now she's invading Dalaran with an army of Nerubians. Zalataf planned this. All of this. She wanted us to come to Kazalgar. I will not fail again. As much as I'd love to hunt Zalataf down, our first priority is securing the civilians. Rescue whoever you can and tell them to head to the landing pad nearby. I'll find mages to teleport everyone to safety. I, Let's go! Not be a fly in Zalataf's web. Let's go, so we need to find citizens to save. And we need to kill the Rubians. I think that's my... Oh well, it's dead. It died fast. Right, we've got a citizen here. Actually, we didn't even count. Oh, we did get his 1%. It must be a little baby one. Right, I think this is my dot, isn't it? Yeah, and that's my basic attack. And then, hand of... No, that's Doombolt. That's not... Where's hand of gold? There it is. And it's already dead. Right. So I'm pretty sure as this class, I want to, like, generate these. And when I've got enough of them, I want to do hand of gold down to summon more imps. Because this does a big... Boom, you see that consumes some and it summons more imps, which will then deal more damage. But the imps only have so long to live. And that's my dot, that's my basic generator, that is my... Whenever I do a critical hit, that turns into an instant. And generates two shoal shards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's... It costs too long to cast, normal. But I want to do it all the time. And then this is my AoE stuff here, I'm pretty sure. No, that's power siphon. And then this is just all summon demon stuff. But I'm that powerful at the moment. I'm probably not going to need to summon more demons. And if the damn does free, boom. Oh yeah, one of my trinkets turns me into another person. Right. Let's save you, the blacksmith vendor. Yeah, just suicide imps. My DPS is that high from having strong gear from the la like pre patch that I can just blitz my way through this. Attack it, my demon! Attack it and explode, demon! The barber, let's save the barber. Go, my little goblin friends. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? 
Just let my minions kill you now. Right, let's save you. There's someone in here to save. Oh, there's a couple of people in here to save. A barmaid! Go! To safety! Saved. Go, innkeeper, go! Is that an instant? No, are there any of these instants? Yeah, that's an instant. Everyone's dying too fast, and this is a ramp up style class, so that makes things a wee bit harder. Right, we need to kill Nerubians. We need to kill lots of Nerubians. We've got almost all the people we need to save, but we've missed someone somewhere that we need to save. Let's just take a look, see out. Oh, is there someone in here for us to save? This there is. We just need to kill people now. Probably would have been better playing this as one of the second or third classes once I wasn't so OP. Because the ramp up is so. S this is a ramp up. Right, uh, let's just get that off. And then let's just uh, hand a go down. Boom, boom, boom. Now, these are getting me a bit more of a fight. Well, they were. Why is that one not an enemy? To oh, that's why. It was meant to be a little. Moment of them burrowing away. I could have saved them if he was let me attack. I could have saved them. Right, you know what? Let's say uh, try and gather lots of people up. Let's just come on, everyone, all come together, all together now. Now let's do some AOE. Oh, they're already all dead. Oh well. And then just suicide all my imps. Right, just need a little bit more. You are my new target. Oh, you're going to be dead before I can do anything. Oh, you're going to be dead before I can do anything. I just need to see one. Take thing. There we go. No, it's dead. Too many people. You want to do an instant. There we go. He's bigger than mine. Shouldn't this permanent one be the bigger one? Right. Job's done. Let's go, my minions. I like demonology because I like to have like a huge horde fighting for me. So when I play Warlock, I do not have an option for uh, what, like, eh, uh, where is it? I do not have an option for what specialization. I'm always demonology and what, I'd like to have a big army of demons. I do not like to, like, that is, that is it. I love that. I am on the hunt. I love that thematic. So there's been times when demonology has been the weakest. Like considered the weakest, I still play it. They will not escape. She cannot hide. You know what? Me. There could still be more survivors. With me, champion. Settings. Uh, da, 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 da. There should be a thing in this, in this little add-on. I like this little add-on. Just it's one of the few ones I do use. Uh, there should be a little ticky box though for when you're solo to show pets. Show pets when solo. Yes, there we go. So now. It should show like my fail guard, my imps, how much damage they're actually doing. And I forgot to pay attention to that quest because I was thinking about this. And I just had it in. We should have read it. Sorry, I didn't read it. But you can go back and pause so you know what's being said or done. Damn it all! Cut through the sewers and find Kadgar. He'll know what to do. Through the sewers we go then. This used to be a PvP area back in, I think it was Cataclysm? Not Cataclysm, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Hey, it's Anduin. Glad to see you haven't evacuated yet. The Norubians are capturing the rogues who live down here. Yeah, it feels kind of stupid to be placing dots on enemies that are going to be dying in like half a second. Right, let's rescue folk. In case you wonder why I keep teleporting into like different creatures, it's one of the 
trinkets. Whenever I do an ability, to the granted attack power of the Taronka. Yeah. Whenever I can do an ability, there's a chance I turn into like a race from Wrath of the Lich King. A friend once showed me a path through here. Head to that sewer grate. The exit should be on the right. Over here we go. Over here we go. We free more civilians. And here's our exit. I will always try. Looks like we saved who we could. Let's hope the other rogues escaped. Who is calling for help? A new helmet. We're not going to be using it because uh, mine's is far superior. Mine's is 480, whereas it's uh, 4. Right? Best if we split up here. I'll guide everyone to safety about getting evacuated in the meantime. You should search for Khadgar. I'm sure he could use your aid as well. We'll find another exit further ahead that should lead us back to the surface. I'll get them to safety. Try to find Khadgar. Wait, so I have to go this way? Yep, seek a different exit. I thought I was to go through that tunnel. He's to go through that tunnel. Right, let's go! Me and my little army of imps. It's also one of the reasons I like these skulls, isn't the offhand. It's a... Uh, uh, it's the off it's my offhand, so instead of carrying it, it just floats around me, but it just makes it look like I've got two little skull minion demons as well. So it makes my army look even bigger. And then see once you've got like end level gear, demonology is really fun, you've got like tons of things. And I think one of the new If we come in talents so we can't really see it here, but this, I think one of these as well lives your demonology like type stuff where you can summon even more demons, or there's like abilities that have demons or oh. It's a big boy! Right, we're gonna put our dot on him anyway, that's for sure. Are, oh, and he's already dead. I was just about to summon him a big tyrant! Ah. Does the tyrant do the same as it did before? And increases your destruction and the death of developing fell Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tyrant is a big, like, a big damage dealing, like, uh, demon that buffs all your other demons. So like you want to do it on bosses once you've summoned like a hundred imps and you've got all your other demons summoned, you summon your tyrant and boom. Your DPS goes through the roof and what is going on with the frames? The frames were derpy there. I'm glad to see you're okay. There is no end to the Nubians, I'm afraid. At least for now Dalaran has lost to us. But the problem remains we must they must be our primary concern. What do you need me to do? What is with the frames? I must first find Deliria. Will oh, I didn't realize you hadn't finished talking. Cadgar, we meet at last. Zalatath, I presume. This city is home to such power, all squandered by the Kirin Tor. I'll put it to much better use. Like hell you will. Oh, 
after my head! <laughs> Kedka? This isn't the real fight. Goodbye, Guardian. Get these rocks off you. Just let me. They're stuck under all their rocks. Moving the rocks. Keep moving the rocks. There we go. We're freed. That poor mage tried to save us. Yeah, well, look at this maze! Look! Pieces of Dalaran all around us! Ah, uh, like. You just know Khadgar is not dead, though. You just know he's not. Like, there's no way. Eh. Uh, like a big named character. It's been a named character since. I think it was. He was named in Warcraft 2, was it not? It was Warcraft... 80% uh, sure it was Warcraft 2. It might have been Warcraft 1, though. Yeah, then he didn't show up in Warcraft 3 because he was uh, stuck in Outland, I think. Memory serves. This is really struggling. Then he became, like, a big-named character in World of Warcraft again. And, yeah, he's... been such a big-named character for so long. He has so many people that love him. Um, there's no way he's just going to be written off without... A chance for the player to process it, if you know what I mean. Like, there's going to be more sad music. Um, like, here, we're in the remains, the shattered remains of Dalaran. Like, which is just as big a cat. Like, Dalaran's just as big a player. Like, the city was just as big a player as Khadgar. And we're getting a chance. Like, we got to see it literally explode. Maybe, like, there's a tiny bit of it left. And it's been destroyed before. Like in Warcraft 3, but like. As a, the city as well is a big loss, and it's like it's given us a chance to process the loss of the city. Like it's building up like it's gonna be a big, huge, like, uh, expansion where you use Dalaran as your home base, kind of like Legion, kind of like. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King. And then it's like, nope! Boom! Even though it was just like those expansion intros, nope, it's not going to be like that expansion. Yeah, it is. And as, yeah, as I said, we've got this whole bit here, we're in the remains, we're fighting for it. It's given us a chance to process this, but not given us a chance to process Khadgar. Like, there's no, like, big loss of Khadgar, like, scene, so it kind of feels like Khadgar's got to be alive. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like he's been written off. Like, yeah. But anyway, I think we'll call this a part. I so shall see. I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. See me in the next part. We're going to continue on with this character for now. And then maybe part three or four, we'll see about swapping to a different character. Yes. Hope you guys have all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Bye. See bye. Thank you.